Hi families, today I'm going to show you how to take a test called STAR Math. This is an assessment test to see your child's math levels. So it is a math test that has multiple choice questions. Your child will answer the questions on a computer or tablet, but they can work the problems out on note paper. It should take about somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes to answer all the questions. So some of the questions will be easy, while others will be more challenging. Don't worry about how many questions um, your child thinks they can get right or how many they think they can get wrong. Everyone will likely miss some of the questions. So the main goal is for the child to just do the best they can. Parents cannot help their student answer the actual math equations, but they can read the question for them if they're struggling with the reading part of it. So you're going to sign into your Chromebook or your child will sign in. If they are using a Clever badge, the screen will look like this and you're going to want to click on Accelerated Reader 360. If they don't have a Clever badge, it might be look, it might look like this and they would want to click on ex just accelerated reader. So I'm going to sign in with the clever badge version. Username and password should already be entered, but you might need to, to do that as well and go to accelerated reader 360. Whichever icon you use or tab you use, it will bring you to the Renaissance accelerated reader page. You're going to click on I am a student. Enter your username and password. The password will be a series of numbers and then three letters. The first letter needs to be a capital. When your student has signed or logged in, that their name should be at the top. You want to click on star math there is a Spanish version if needed. Before you start the test, double check it is your student's name and then you, they can click on start. So once they have started, um, you will see a picture of a clock at the top of the screen. That means that time is almost up for that question. Excuse me. If a picture of a clock pops up, it means that the time is almost up for that question. So choose the best answer and then select next to move on to the next question. If you do not answer or if your child doesn't answer, uh, choose an answer in time, you will see a message that says time is up for that question and the next question will appear in a few seconds. So you really want to make sure your student has done things like gotten a drink of water or gone to the restroom before taking the test. You're not going to want to pause or stop it. Click start when they're ready. And as you can see, they're going to read a question and answer by clicking on one of the tabs, or excuse me, one of the multiple choice letters. So I'm going to choose an answer and click next and it will continue. Good luck.